Hi, my name is Dr. Craig Jackson. I work in the psychology department at Virginia Wesleyan University. Uh, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about our program and about our major. Um, hopefully you'll come to Virginia Wesleyan and decide to major in psychology. Uh, we have a, a quite a few majors. We tend to be one of the more popular majors on campus, uh, along with bio, biology, uh, business, it tends to be pretty popular. Um, students are attracted to our courses. We have a lot of the traditional courses that you might expect, like abnormal psychology, developmental psychology. Uh, my specialty is social psychology, um, biological psychology, cognition. We also have a number of specialty courses, um, upper level specialty courses, like in eating disorders, uh, we offer a number of travel uh, opportunities as well. If you're interested in uh, doing an experiential type of learning as a senior, usually we have um, undergraduate research. We do a lot of that here. Uh, we have Psych 480, which is our original research projects course, where students will work with a faculty member doing a, a research project that they that they design uh, and carry out the research, collect data, write up the uh, do the analyses and write up their reports. Uh, we also have internships as an opportunity. Uh, in the spring, usually uh, seniors will take an internships class. It's an it's a optional course that you can take and, and get some experience there. And now, like I said, we have a, a couple of different study away opportunities. Some of our majors end up going and doing uh, a semester abroad. Unfortunately, with the COVID-19, we had a couple of them had to be called back, but one of them in particular that I know of, she got an opportunity to go to Korea um, and do some, inter do some study away courses there. Uh, so we also have a travel course. We do a number of specialty courses uh, over January term, like our study away course that we did a few years back on the history of psychopathology in Europe. Uh, so we got to go see uh, some places in England, uh, some places in Amsterdam and Paris and tour some of the, the facilities that have been used and some of the museums that had information relating to, to the, that issue of psychopathology and how it's been treated over the years. Um, so one of the more common questions that our parents have and a lot of students have is, well, what will I do after graduation with a bachelor's in psychology? A uh, number of employers like the skills that undergraduate bachelor's uh, in psychology students tend to have. A lot of human relations and critical thinking skills, a unique combination of um, skills that, that students will bring to the table. So employers in a variety of different fields, like in business or sales, marketing, uh, students may end up in, in positions or jobs because of what they can bring to the table for those employers and the skills they can provide. Um, you can get opportunities to work in the field of psychology um, with a bachelor's degree, but it might be at, at, at a level of a technician, so behavioral technician, rehab specialist, um, those kinds of areas, social service positions, social service types of government jobs or nonprofit jobs uh, where you might be working as an advocate for a child you know, whose parents are separated and might be supervising uh, visitations, things like that. Uh, if you do want to call yourself a psychologist and do counseling or clinical work, you would need to go on to graduate school. Uh, so our undergraduate degree prepares the students with what they need at a found foundational level so that they can go on and, and be prepared to go on and enter graduate school, either in master's or PhD programs. And we've had a number of students who've done that, um, either in clinical or counseling psychology or other applied fields like industrial or organizational psychology. Um, even some students have gone on to, to PhD or PsyD programs um, in experimental or um, academic type of um, programs where they might go on to become a, a professor themselves or work in research in those fields like social psychology. There's a program at ODU that a couple of our students have gotten into, a PhD program in applied social psychology. So there's a number of opportunities there to go on to graduate programs, even if it's not in psychology, a bachelor's degree might prepare, some, prepare your student for going on for a career um, as a lawyer, so law school, some of our students end up going into, or even education. So a lot of our students have gone into to education and gotten uh, master's level degrees or PhDs in, in those fields, like special education in particular comes to mind as an area that would be perfectly suited for someone with a bachelor's in psychology to, to go and pursue. So there are opportunities either at the bachelor's or graduate level. Our degree, I think, will prepare you for you or your student to go on and be successful um, as a professional psychologist or bringing those skills that they would get um, with an undergraduate bachelor's degree um, to the table for, for an employer who's looking for someone with a, a well, well-rounded, well balanced set of skills. So hopefully you'll be at Wesleyan in fall. Uh, I'm Dr. Jackson, if you ever have any questions, please send me an email or give me a call. 
and hope to be back on campus soon uh, so I can talk with you and uh, in person perhaps. So uh, that's all for now.